Beethoven was the greatest. <laughs> uh, I think he was perhaps one of the greatest men that ever walked the earth. Life must have been difficult for him in many ways. Of course, he was losing his hearing, which for a great musician and composer is the biggest curse you can imagine. Like all curses, you can find a blessing as well. It made him delve into a realm that he might not have gone, into a realm that's outside of, of what one can practice and demonstrate. I mean, his late string quartets sound like something could have been written in the 20th century. With a great music like Beethoven, it's never just sad. You find multiple emotions. You feel moved, you feel glad to be alive, you feel like you want to kill yourself. A little bit of all of those things <laughs> uh, all at once. But that, this, that movement uh, was the first one that really got me of the, uh, of the Beethoven symphonies. At the moment, I am the music director of the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields in London, so I've been able to direct the symphonies of Beethoven. I've directed one through eight. I haven't done the Ninth Symphony yet, which is the most massive and important in, in many ways. The Beethoven Concerto is very daunting and scary for all of us violinists because, like most Beethoven, you can't just live in the moment and play a beautiful tune and enjoy it. You have to think of the whole picture, kind of like a movie director thinks of a film. You don't just have scenes, you have to think of this entire story, which is true of all music, but with Beethoven, this structure, it's, it's like a great building. Uh, the architecture is everything, and it will fall apart if you don't make it and present it properly. I've played some of the worst concerts of my life playing the Beethoven Concerto, but also some of the most rewarding moments of my musical experience were playing the Beethoven. And when you get to the end of the Beethoven, you feel like, like you've been through this incredible journey, and the audience feels that too, or they should. That's, that's what we aim for. When I was a teenager, I used to watch the, the, the Vienna New Year's concert. One particular memory was the first time seeing live uh, Carlos Kleiber, the great conductor. Of course, I had heard all these famous waltzes before, and I th always thought, it's nice music, you know, Johann Strauss, it's nice music. And suddenly I heard Carlos Kleiber in the Vienna Philharmonic, and I thought, oh my God, this is great music. It's not Beethoven, it's something very different, but it is great music, especially when it's done with such incredible characters. I have memories of these waltzes um, in my head. Also, my own hero, my own violin hero growing up was Fritz Kreisler, you know, and he wrote his own version, his own waltzes. Actually, he wrote uh, Liebes Leid and Liebes Freud because uh, you can't capture Vienna in just in his joy, you have to have the sorrow as well. That's uh, probably the first waltz I ever played when I was seven years old. <laughs> I live in New York City, which is a great city, but I come to Vienna and I see, even walking down the street, every second person has a violin case or a cello case. Somehow it just feels like a city of music. Even when there's no music playing, you feel like you can hear music because there's so many ghosts of the greats uh, kind of ringing in the air. And, and so it's, I just feel Vienna is a city for music. And of course, as a musician, it's like a heaven to come to the city. I think it's inspiring to be in a place that just has beauty on every, every corner. As a musician, beauty inspires beauty. And that's what a great piece of music, like a Beethoven symphony, has. Every note belongs where it belongs for a reason. It was written with purpose. One memorable year was I had a residency at the Concert House, where I played many times throughout the year, chamber music with my orchestra from London, and a recital and another concerto, and I felt like it started to become feeling like a home. And I guess to be accepted in Vienna by the musical community is something we all aspire to, you know, because this is the place.